Well, hello, Shoreline Church. Uh, tomorrow is our first Sunday uh, going with an all-online worship experience. Uh, we'll be at the church live uh, with the worship team and with me preaching and with all that happens normally. But instead of being sitting in the, in the worship center, you'll be wherever you are worshiping there. And so tomorrow morning at 8.30, 10 o'clock and 11.30, all three service times, live services online. And so just go on your computer and jump right in. If you're not quite sure how to do that, there's instructions right below this video on your computer screen right there, and you can read the details. But if you get stuck tomorrow morning and you say you want someone to help you through, just call the church, and we're going to actually have a call center set up with a bunch of people there, and they will walk you through how to get online on the service, either on your phone, your computer, whatever you want to do. We'll help you get set up so you can enjoy the service and worship Jesus with us. Again, I'm excited about the message uh, about the pathway to peace. Uh, you can read Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7 and begin thinking about that. It's going to be a great time of worship together. And also, I want to let you know that you can call the church line and our team that's going to be there will both help you get online for the service and also if you have a prayer need. We want to make sure everyone's prayed for if you need it. So if you call and say, I need prayer, we have a team on the phone ready to pray with you for whatever your need is, whatever your joy is. They want to seek the Lord's face with you and support you in prayer. So call to get online or call for prayer. Also, uh, I want to share with you that uh, I had an interesting experience uh, when we discovered that we were going to be going to online services. I was talking with a person who's part of Shoreline Church. And this person said, I've got a neighbor who I've invited to church a lot of times and they just never have felt comfortable coming to church. They, some of their own upbringing make it uncomfortable for them. And I said, well, let me ask you a question. Do you think on Sunday morning, if you invited them over to your house for coffee and maybe some, some cinnamon rolls or something and coffee, and you were to watch the service online together, do you think they would come? And this person said, I think they would. I, I don't know if they'd come to a church building, but I think they would come and watch the service online. I said, well, maybe for the next two weeks, <clears throat> you can invite your neighbor over you can watch the service together, and maybe after a couple of weeks of doing that, when you go, when you start coming back to Shoreline, when we gather here, your your neighbor might say, "Hey, I'll, maybe I'll come with you to church this time." You might have a neighbor or somebody you want to invite over to enjoy the service together, and that might be the door that opens the way for them to connect with Jesus and connect in the church and the body of Christ. Just a thought, but I hope you would consider that and pray about who you might invite to your home to watch the service with you. Uh, and so, also, I want to remind you that as in this season. We need you to be faithful in your joyful generosity. So if you're not quite sure how to give online, my wife and I have been debating this for a long, long time. I'm going to have a conversation with her today about shifting over to online giving for the time being and maybe leaving it online so that our regular weekly giving is all set up online and just goes right to the church without, without us having to think about it. And so this might be a time for you to look and say, how do I use the Shoreline app for my giving? Or how do I start set up my giving online? Or you can also just write a check or have cash in the envelope, mail it to the church or drop it by the church during the week. The office will be open throughout the week. But we want to encourage you to, to fully participate in worship through singing, through praying, through studying God's word, and through joyful generosity. God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at Shoreline Online from your home. Have a great day.